got to live forever. I've got three daughters and a, and a wife and a life. I, I can't die. If, God forbid, this Is kind it, of thing, I mean, God I'm... forbid this kind of thing should happen. Do you love me? entertain and make people laugh and do something just for the sheer joy. I'm really happy. What's going on, everybody? How are you doing today? Here I am at Mount Sinai Memorial Park here in Los Angeles, California. Mount Sinai, right on the other side. See this fence be beside me? This green part here, not the cement wall, but the big fence. That's Forest Lawn and Hollywood Hills. That's how close together these cemeteries are. Uh, they're right beside each other. Hollywood Hills, Forest Lawn is huge. Mount Sinai is a smaller Jewish cemetery, but still pretty big. And there's lots of people here. Like, Don Rickles, Norman Fell, who I did Mama Cass. And now, sadly, interred here is uh, Bob Saget. And just to be quick about this, uh, my intro here, talking about Bob Saget. When Bob Saget passed, I was inundated with requests. Are you going to do something on Bob Saget? Literally like an hour afterwards. And I was in Canada at that point. Then I went to uh, Florida and Georgia, New York and stuff, I was doing stuff there. So I was like, you know, I'm, not, I'm on the other side of the country. And while I was in Florida, I visited the last location that Bob Saget performed. So I'm gonna put a video, a uh, link to that video below in the description where he did his last performance before, of course, he drove to Orlando and was found uh, dead in his hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton in Orlando. So, I was always, my kind of thing with when I do grave videos is, I like to, I like there to be a headstone to read, to see, read it to you, show you. Uh, per Jewish tradition, headstones don't get placed until a year after the death of the person. Celebrity or not, anybody. That's the Jewish tradition, it's a year. So it's only been five months. I know there's no headstone. I've been to Bob Saget's grave already before. Um, so I was never going to really, I wasn't going to do it until a year later. I wasn't going to do it until next January. So I want to see the headstone. But again, I still keep getting so many requests. So I know that uh, viewers of my channel want to see it. I know some of my friends who do YouTube channels have already come out here. Uh, but I want to show my viewers Bob Saget's final resting place because you've asked. We're going to go take a look. I'm going to find his sister and I believe his parents are here as well. I know his sister definitely is. I'm pretty sure I know where they are. And uh, talk a little bit more about Bob Sagan. Two of my friends here are with me. They're big Full House fans. I'm a fan of his comedy. I never really watched Full House, uh, which is, you know, I watched a few episodes full of Full House, but I was a huge Bob Sagan fan because I loved, loved his comedy. Loved it. And his style is dirty work and that he directed with Norma Donald's one of my favorite movies and of course his cameo on Half Baked which I included a clip of that I think on my other video which is if you know what cameo I'm talking about you know let's go see if we can find Bob Saget's uh, family and then I'm going to show you his final resting place let's go so I can tell you that there is a, a ceremony going on not too far from me over to the left Bob Saget's just up here but I believe his sister is around here because when he passed away. Oh, I see right now. I see his family right here. When he passed away, I assumed immediately that um, 
he'd be buried right near his sister. But as I can see here now, the plot there's no there's no space. Maybe when here they could have. I, I guess, but you know, he's very close. You'll see. So here is his sister, Gay Audrey Saget, loving and beloved daughter, mother, sister, and aunt. 1947 to 1994, forever in our hearts. Oh, this is nice actually. And then Rosalind Saget, that's his mom. February 12th, 1925, February 15th, 2014. Loving and devoted wife, mother, aunt, grandmother, and friend. Forever in our hearts. And Benjamin Morton Saget. August 28th, 1917 to January 30th, 2007. Loving and devoted husband, father, grandfather, brother, and friend. A very great man. Wow. So here we are. This is the Saget family plot right here. And if you perhaps yourself watching your family has a plot uh, that you buy in advance sometimes you it's you know somebody dies unexpectedly like these uh, you know they obviously want to be buried by their daughter if somebody dies unexpectedly there's not enough room they didn't buy enough, get a big enough plot at the time there's various reasons but I mean he's very close as you can see his sister mother and father so I am standing in between their days but you know there is could be an empty space here but this could be an unmarked grave right here so no room but that's nice I was talking to the lady at the front she's very very sweet I'd like to give a nice shout out to her who always helps me when I come here when she was talking about she's she met the Bob Saget's nephew I was hanging out with him for quite a while and um Helping him with things and saying how he looks exactly like him and how nice of a man he was. So, we're going to walk over here and my friends are just over here and we'll talk about Bob Saget a little bit and show you his grave. Let's go. And I hope all the Saget family here is resting peacefully. And you're going to come in the front entrance, go all the way around to the very top. Very top. And then you turn right around the corner and when you turn right, this is where the Saga family plot is. At the very kind of um, top of Mount Sinai. And there's that famous mausoleum, I'm sorry, and the mural. That's that forest lawn, Hollywood Hills. You've seen in many of my videos. And the church right there. The big red church. All right, let's go. So with me, actually, I better stand down because Christina's a little shorter than me. Christina, you've seen her for a couple of my other videos and one coming up soon that we filmed last year. Still haven't, uh, still haven't put up yet, but I will. And of course, Pete from the Totally 80s room. Pete, you're a big fan of Full House. Big fan. Yeah. What do you think of what? What do you What do you have to say about being here? It's weird, right? I'm a, yeah, I'm a little nervous. Yeah. I'm nervous. I normally do cemetery visits alone on my channel. I always, I'm always alone. But uh, you're a big fan of Bob Saget. Yeah. Yeah. And I was just yeah. at his parents and his sister's grave. Did you watch every season of Full House? I've seen them all. Yep. Seen them all. Yep. And you've seen his stand-up, right? I've seen his stand-up. People don't know how different his stand-up is from his sitcom Very persona. Very different. He's it, dirty. It, it, both good. But yeah. yeah. He's a, he's a, he was yeah. known as one of the most foul-mouthed, dirty comics with clever. a quick, Super quick, clever. quick yeah. mind. Yeah. Quick mind. And uh, America's Funniest Home Videos, I said this on my other video I did about him, he wrote a lot of those jokes, but he wrote them for a family audience. So you could tell sure. he could, like there are videos, but there was jokes in between the videos. Sure. He wrote... So he could write clean. Right, so that's that's hard to do. That's, that's hard to do, yeah. to switch your mind from a clean mind to dirty mind if you're doing comedy. And also, all like the sound effects and voices in those videos, he did a lot of those voices. Right, yeah. Very talented guy. So I did give a, a bit, bit more of his history of like of his, of his youth on my other video, which I will put a link below. Now we're gonna walk over and we'll see Bob Saget's grave. So you're gonna notice a row of headstones and then right here, you can see the grass is a little less green. And because that's where Bob Saget is right here. And you can see people have left some rocks here, which is what I'm going to do. I'll get you really close there. And you can see, we'll clean it off a little bit. Robert Saget, January 14, 2002.
So there will be a headstone after a year. So what did I just say? January 14th. So probably to the day. It's usually to the exact day for a Jewish faith to have the headstone placed. And I'm going to guess it's going to be a pretty, pretty big one. Sometimes they're very simple with celebrities. If you've seen my channel before, sometimes celebrities have very simple headstones. But uh, I have a feeling Bob Saget is going to have a longer one. I'm just guessing. But here's where Bob Saget is. I forgot to add, but you just reminded me. He well, was also the narrator in How I Met Your Mother. One of the best sitcoms of the past 20 years, for sure. Jason Segel, Neil Patrick Harris, Pete. Yeah. So, what do you think? I mean, that's it's weird seeing it without a headstone, right? Yeah. It's odd. Yeah. But it will be here. It will be here. And you see some of the bigger headstones there. That's what I'm estimating that Bob Saget's going to have one like that. But it's a beautiful spot, right? Yeah. High up here. Very right? peaceful. Yeah. Very, very peaceful. Very quiet. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is my little video about Bob Saget. I will be back when he gets a headstone because he's, he's Bob Saget. Yeah. Like, I think it was probably the most shocking death for a lot of us in a long time. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, unbelievable. Too young. Recipes, Bob Saget. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace.